Yeah, I'm back. I'm here to stay, too. I don't give a, give a shit what these commenters think. Jeff is a real beast in this competition. I watched his earlier match, and the guy clearly knows his stuff. Uh, I think it's really going to come down to luck. Listen, I grew up watching Sam Levine, okay? Uh, big fan of him as an actor. He's terrific. As far as movie trivia goes, he hasn't proven anything to me, okay? You know why Freaks and Geeks here got canceled after one season? Because it was miscast. Sam Levine wasn't a freak or a geek. He was a loser, baby, and I'm going to make him a loser, okay? I'm going to collect his scalps in glorious bastard style. Trust me. No, the smack talk doesn't bother me. I mean, I, I think I've said it before. I'll say it again. I let the, the answering of the questions do the talking for me. Uh, Natasha Henson. That is correct. I was born a poor black child. The jerk. Los Angeles. That is correct. Uh, scream. Two points. Two points. Mrs. Voorhees. Bubba Hotel. Wow. He's running away with this so far, Christian. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to a fun match. He's a real worthy competitor. He knows his stuff, and I'll try not to hold the fact that he's from Boston against him, but I will hold it against him. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to embarrass Sam Levine with both M's on his first name the same way I beat El Mayimbe. The character's name? Yes. Is Mason. Mason. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by knockout! Ding, 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 ding. I'm a patriot because I'm a winner, okay? I'm a champion, and I'm coming for Sam Levine. We're going to deflate his balls Snyder style. Jeff, uh, I want you to know I'm really looking forward to our match. I read all of your news that you break on the internet, but today the only thing that's going to break is your spirit. Welcome back to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Oh my lord, what a match today. I'm Christian Harlaw. I am Mark Ellis, and there is a reason that a third of my giant forehead is shimmering, Christian, because my pores can't handle the intensity of the matchup we have for you today. This is a pay-per-view type Whew. match. You're going to have the in-Snyder, Jeff Snyder, going up against the number three contender, the inglorious one, Sam Levine. Now, this is a... Re Look, everyone knew that Sam Sam Levine would be in this picture. We mm -hmm. knew that. Jeff Snyder has come out of nowhere with a, an impressive knockout of El Miembe in his last match. And so people are talking about him in good ways and in bad ways. It's a clash of cultures here, Christian, because Sam Levine comes in a little understated. You probably know him from Freaks and Geeks. The other guy might live in his parents' basement, but he's made a fabulous career out of sometimes being a heel. Uh, sometimes, absolutely, and he is part of the biggest heel faction in this league, the Patriots, and we're gonna see a battle Ooh. here tonight of two juggernauts. Let's check out the tale of the tape. All right, there you see Jeff Snyder knows how to break scoops, knows <laughs> how to break egos, and knows how to get under people's skin. I thought you were going to say break ankles. Nope. And his opponent, the number three contender, Sam Levine, with a vast knowledge. He knows a lot. Comedy, he's got it. Drama, he's got it. And you know he is also going to go tit for tat with wit with Snyder. <laughs> he said, Tid, and there are very few boxes that are left unchecked by either one of these brilliant movie trivia minds. And Christian, I guess all that's left is to meet the body that's associated with those minds. Is your throat ready for what's about to go down? I am ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing first, representing the Patriots with a record of one win, no defeats with one knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you the Insnider, Jeff Snyder! The sunglasses oh, the on his shoulder, right his shoulder, a very casual look for Jeff Snyder. He likes, he likes the booze, someone screaming, go Pats. Please stop throwing batteries at Jeff Snyder. Unbelievable, Jeff Snyder is ready to go. His opponent, he is the number three contender representing himself. Ladies and gentlemen, with a record of one win, no defeats, he is the inglorious one, Sam Levine! And the crowd goes wild, Sam Levine. 
Here Look at is. him walk out. He barely acknowledges the existence of the Insnider. And Jeff Snyder, oh, all he can do is laugh. Very nice. Put it there. Okay. What a sportsman. It's going to be good here. I think that is a very modest smile from Sam Levine. All right, Mark, let's go over the rules. For everybody watching at home, and as a quick refresher course for our competitors, round one will feature six questions from six different film categories. Each question is worth a mere one point. There is no stealing in round one, and if you get an incorrect answer, you are not penalized. Sam Levine, Jeff Snyder, are you guys ready to get this thing on? I think so. I believe we are. All right, Sam, you are the favorite. You can choose to either go first or second. Uh, I will defer to my opponent and allow him to Wrong go first. Wrong move, buddy. Wrong oh, move, Jeff Snyder. All right, Jeff, will you like to go from category one or category two? Category one. Category one. For you might be interested to see if category one or two provides the more correct answers. We should probably have one of you cool kids at home take care of that for us. All right. <laughs> Jeff Snyder in the category of animated. What classic animated film is loosely based on Shakespeare's Hamlet? The Lion King? That is correct. It was more of a uh, question than an answer, but he got a point. All right. In the category of dramas, name Richard Linklater's before trilogy in order. Um, okay. Five, four, three. Before two. Before midnight, before sunset, before. Before, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, the answer was before sunrise, before sunset, before midnight. I don't know sunrise, what your favorite sunset, movie that midnight. trilogy is. Mine is before I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I haven't seen any of those. Really good. <laughs> really so good well stuff. done. Uh, really good stuff. All right, Jeff, in the I've category not seen those. of romantic comedies. Jerry Maguire is the sports agent for Rod Tidwell, who plays for what NFL team? Arizona Cardinals. Correct. I very love quick. that question. Yeah. And he got it right. So Jeff Snyder with a uh, very modest, yet he still knows he's got something here. Two points in the first stanza. I have to say, I like how your football Jeff Snyder he came out. Thank right you very much, yeah. Christian. Right. I feel like an announcer at the Pro Bowl right now. And now we move on to Sam Levine. Sam. Yes. In the realm of animation. Okay. Why does Elsa leave Arendelle and go into seclusion in the film Frozen? Uh, because she can't touch anything without freezing it. I will go to Christian, who has a daughter. Uh, no, she no. discovers she can create ice. They are scared of her, and she goes because she's worried she will hurt someone. Close. I'm afraid of her I own don't know about that. Close, but no cigar. That's... But no cigar. I think we're splitting hairs there, but that's fine. I, I the mean, guy's got a daughter. He's seen the movie 120 times. You know how many times I've seen it? Fucking zero. I heard it. Okay. <laughs> I heard a judge say no. That's what yeah. I heard. Yeah. All right. Next one. All right. In the realm of drama, well, we just had some drama. This question. Name a famous singer that had a role in the movie Fight Club. Uh, Meatloaf. Huge fan was... like a bat out of hell. Sam Levine is on the board. I believe he's credited as Meatloaf a day in that movie. <laughs> By the way, would, would Jared Leto have counted? Yes. Yeah. Very good. You are awarded no points, Snyder. <laughs> Romantic comedies. Yes. In the movie The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Yes. What musician does Jane Lynch always have playing? Michael McDonald. <laughs> on the TVs at Smart Tech. It is Michael McDonald, the guy who single-handedly made the Doobie Brothers boring. Hey, well, let's give him some more appetite questions. Hey, you, got, you, got, you got a weasel question in your first, re in your first <laughs> match. That is true. Be quiet. All right. In the category of comic book movies. Jeff Snyder, in X2 X-Men United, who are the two X-Men who track down Nightcrawler in a church in Boston? Boston. So it's comic book characters who track who track down? Is the answer you don't know. Can you repeat the question? The movie is called X-Men, so one would assume there's comic book characters in X2. In <laughs> X-Men United, who are the two X-Men who track down Nightcrawler in a church in Boston? Wolverine and Storm. The answer was Storm and Jean Grey. Mm. All right. In the category of Oscar movies, 
In 1991, Disney's Beauty and the Beast became the first animated feature film to be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. What film did it lose to? Sounds of the Lambs. That's correct. Tale as old as time, Jeff Snyder is back with another point. All right, in the category of horror, in what city do the events of 28 Days Later primarily take place in? London? Correct. I was like, oh. All right. Mm. And Snyder getting a begrudging respect from our crowd here, Mr. Yeah. Harloff. Now we go back over to Sam Levine. Sam, we're going to comic book movies Very well. first. Who provided the voice of the Silver Surfer in 2007's Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer? Um, that was probably... Oh, let's see. Five, I've not seen the film. I'm just going to go four, ahead and take a guess and say it was. Three, two, one. I have no idea. Larry, <laughs> it was not. Larry. I have no idea. It was Mr. Lawrence Fishburne Morpheus himself. Never was going to get that. Don't never worry. You never need to see the movie. In Oscar films, and for this question, it's a long thinker. You're going to have a little bit more time to get your answer. Stop bitching, Snyder. I can smell you already. Name two of the ten best picture winners from the 2000s. That's 2000 to 2009, we need two of the best picture winners in that time frame. Chicago and Slumdog Millionaire. You know, the guy doesn't blink, and uh, he got that question right. Beast. Didn't even need more time. Did not. He needed less time. And now, Christian, the final question in round one. Sam Levine, in the world of horror, what 2007 Anna Paquin film will you find four interwoven stories that all take place on Halloween night? Five, four, three. Nope, nothing. We're looking for trick or treat. Mm, mm. Trick right. or treat, mm. I hear good things. So at the end of round one, the in Snyder, Jeff Snyder is up four to three. So it is time to explain the rules of round two. Where anything can happen, and that's because we have a very pricey wheel that we have purchased with categories from films on them. You guys will each spin that wheel. If you don't like the category that you spun the first time, you are allowed a mulligan. You spin it again. Whatever it lands on, you must answer four questions from that oh, category. That is a sharp jacket. And here Sorry. comes a hater of breast cancer, Josh Makuga, providing the wheel for us. Each question in round two is worth two points. However, if you want to go to multiple choice, we can give you the options, and each question will be worth one point. There is stealing allowed in round two, so make sure if you don't know the question, you don't, or the answer, you don't blurt out something Mel's else. Diner. Because you might be able to Mel's give your diner. opponent an edge. All right, Jeff, you're in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? Defer. All right, Sam, you're up. Give it a good spin, please. There it is. There's the wheel, and it is going to land on. What is that? What do we got? Is that Ooh, Street, Street or Sports? Street movies. Meryl Streep movies. Meryl Streep movies. Famous actress for a long time. Yeah. I've heard of her. Do, do it. Oh, look do at Snyder getting in his head. For another Ooh, look at Snyder. All right, hit me with the Streep. Oh, he got he wow. got him to go. You know, okay, we like might that. be seeing something unfold here, Christian. Is Jeff Snyder, we know he's good at being a heel, getting inside Let's Sam see. Levine's uh, head. Or does no, it work just, against there him? Are, there are uh, three categories on here that I absolutely can't take the chance of landing on. All right. I'm All not right, Sam, you're up here. So here we go. In the category of Streep, yeah. who plays Meryl's daughter, Sophie, in the film Mamma Mia? Uh, that would be, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Amanda Seyfried. That is correct. Wow. Wow, Sam. Certainly not Meryl's best work, but maybe Amanda Seyfried's <laughs> finest. All right. For which film did Meryl win her first Oscar? Uh, her first Oscar was for Kramer versus Kramer. Correct. <laughs> oh, boy. This is the beast that everybody showed up to Damn. watch. Yeah. In an attempt to rekindle their marriage, Meryl performs fellatio on Tommy Lee Jones in a movie theater. In which film? Christian. Sorry, oh. I did not write the question. Um, oh. 
I mean, I know the name of the movie, but not immediately, so I'm going to have to go multiple choice. Is it, it's complicated, B, The Hours, C, Heartburn, D, Hope Springs? D, Hope Springs. Correct. Another point in a very tough category. Multiple choice. In the yeah, I couldn't come up with it. You know? Final uh, question. Well, if I heard it, though. Of Streep. What was the first name of Meryl's character in The Devil Wears Prada? Ooh. Satan, a big fan of fashion. Big fan. Uh, Five. Hmm. I, uh, four. Hit me with multiple choice. A, Lucy, B, Diana, C, Miranda, D, Rebecca. Uh, Miranda. That is correct. <laughs> Man. Sam Levine having a very good second round. Very I had good all those. Second round there for Sam Levine. Nothing short of what we expected, but still, Jeff Snyder, he tried to get in Levine's head early. Now Snyder oh, has the spotlight God. focused on him. Nine to four with Sam in the lead. All right, Jeff, you are up. Give it a good spin. Terrible spin, but it's fine. Landing. I on. love how much our audience heckles people for that? a weak spin. What do we got? Fantasy gonna, or sci fi? I'm going to go again. Spin it again. Good, please. Give it a good spin. The crowd does not like him going away there from fantasy sci fi. This, this is the one he's got to stick with. He's got to stick with. What? That looks like Marvel Mar movies, Christian. Marvel <laughs> movies. The thing he definitely did not want. He was not aware that there were comic book heroes in the film X Men, so it's hard. <laughs> Can I just think. do Meryl Streep again? <laughs> the Jeff Snyder oh. is going to be good in this one, but but we will give him an honest shot. Jeff Snyder, are you ready? Yeah, sure. We do want to give a warning for the first question in here. If you're watching at home and you've not seen Avengers: Age of Ultron, maybe a bit of a spoiler here. Keep your ears plugged. Which Avenger makes their unfortunate demise? in the film Age of Ultron. Keep in mind, you do have multiple choices and options. Oh, um, Quicksilver. He didn't need it. Two points right off the bat for Jeff Snyder. Maybe he's been funning us all along, Harlow. What song does Star-Lord have a dance-off to with Ronan in Guardians of the Galaxy? Multiple choice. Is it A, come and get your love? Is it B, I'm not in love? C, Moon Age Daydream? Or D, Ooh Ooh Child? Can I hear them once more? Certainly, I will not sing them. Is it A, come and get your love? B, I'm not in love? C, Moon Age Daydream? Or D, Ooh Ooh Child? And we will need an answer. Moon Age Daydream? That is incorrect. <laughs> So now, Sam Levine, you do have the chance to steal. Uh, is it Ooh Ooh Child? Ooh Ooh Child, the man gets another point. Sam Levine with the steal. Wow, 10 to 6. 10 to 6 in favor of Levine, but Snyder has two questions left, which he could potentially tie going into round three. Right. Shit. And your next question is, who plays Howard Stark in Captain America, the first Avenger? Dominic Cooper? Two points wow. for Snyder. Wow. And now, with the chance to tie, Jeff Snyder, who plays S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Maria Hill? Look at that cute boyish smile. Adorable grin. Um, uh, five. Huge tracks four, of land. Three, two, one. Multiple choice because I'm gonna fuck up her name. It's cool. Is it a Kobe Smolders? Kobe Smolders. That is one that's point. Multiple choice. That one is point. One point Ooh. for Kobe Smolders that's and tough. Snyder is trailing by a that's one tough. tiny Damn point. Damn it. Going round. into round three. That was oh, big. Boy. That was big. That so was. He, I, I don't get a second point even though it's before you actually gave me the you choices. You opted for multiple choice. I was already saying the name Kobe Smolders when you in fact Were said you? the name that Kobe was a? Smolders. Yeah. yeah. But you get to show up your knowledge, and all the girls love a guy with a big marble brain. Now we move in to round three, Christian. In here, each competitor is going to give us a list of three numbers from one to 20. Those numbers correspond to a movie category we have in front of us, and you guys will not know the category that you've chosen until we actually answer, ask you the question. Each question will be worth an increasing value from one point to three point, and then if we're still playing, five points each. All right, Sam, you are once again in the lead. 10 to nine, 
please pick your three numbers. Uh, three, six, and 12. Three, six, and 12. Jeff, you're up. Can he count to 20? Five, nine, 17. Five, <laughs> he certainly nine. can. In the category of musicals, Carol Burnett plays Miss Hannigan in what 1982 musical? Annie. Tie One game. point right off the bat, and we are now tied. And Mr. Levine, your one-point question is in the realm of movie release dates. All right. Movie uh, release dates. I like dates. to call my lifeline Scott Mance. <laughs> <laughs> what year saw the release of William Friedkin's classic film, The French Connection? 1971. It is 1971. Wow. Give one that, man, point, point for Sam Fuck you, Levine. one point on that. Unbelievable. Wow. One point. He gets Annie. <laughs> this kid <laughs> is not getting anything wrong today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. How do you Jeff, get that? For your three-pointer, Jeff Snyder, in a category of 80s movies, which film features a devil named Daryl Van Horn? Five, four, three. Angel Heart. The answer we were looking for was Witches of Eastwick. Never would have gotten the that. The Witches of Eastwick. And now we move to Sam Levine, who can put some distance between himself and Jeff Snyder. Your three-point question is in the category of Sandra Bullock movies. Okay. Sandra Bullock. I call her Sandy. Who was Sandy's co-star in Speed 2 Cruise Control? Uh, I believe that would be Jason Patrick. Your belief is correct. It was Jason Patrick. Also, Willem Dafoe, Glenn Plummer, all came we back for the ride. We would have taken them all. We would have well taken them all. Well done. Have either one of you competitors ever seen Speed 2 Cruise Control? Yes, I have. I have. Uh, all that right. That is weird. Jeff Snyder. It Four, is now. 1410, huh? It is now down to your five pointer. The He's score is 14 to 10. Sam Levine Ooh. is in the lead. Jeff Snyder needs to hit this to stay in the game in the category of Westerns. Oh, wow. Wow. Brutal wow. third round. Wow. Name three of the actors that portrayed the Magnificent Seven, not the most recent remake. Steve McQueen. We need all the three actors. You'll, um, I'll tell you when you get it wrong. Uh, Yul Brenner. You have one more. And fuck. Um, fuck. Five, four, three, two, one. And your Holy shit! That he is now. <laughs> what a, he was down to the last last name. He would have taken James Coburn. Would have taken Robert Vaughn. Charles Bronson just missed it. Bronson. With apologies to all of the rest of the families of the actors in The Magnificent Seven. What a matchup. I mean, Jeff Snyder, Sam Levine, we knew we had two heavyweights going in. They clearly trained for this battle. And, oh, my boy, I am now even sweater than I was to begin the show. I think I want to hear exactly what both of these guys are thinking. So let's take it to Josh McCuga, who's with both Sam and Jeff. All right, I'm here with today's winner of the Movie Trivia Schmodown, Sam Levine, heated match. I mean, you could feel, the, the tension was palpable in the crowd. How do you feel? Oh my God, I can't remember the last time I was that sweaty. Uh, actually, it was this morning, I'm Jewish. So really, we just sweat a lot to begin with. Uh, what do you think was uh, the point in the match where you thought, this might not go my way? Uh, oh, immediately. Um, because I've seen uh, Jeff play the Schmodown before, and the guy is an absolute beast. He's a tough competitor, and I knew that it was just straight going to come down to the luck of the draw with the questions if they're in your wheelhouse or not with us. And I, I, you could see your anger when he got Annie. <laughs> 
I was not uh, thrilled because I was like, all right, that's a one-point question. That's that's fairly easy. Any six-year-old and above would know that, but that, that's fine. But then, really, the anger was next level when my one-point question was revealed. Correct, correct. Okay, so now uh, you go on. You're, you're the number three contender. You want to get to that title match. Yeah. Uh, do you see yourself intimidated by Riley or Merle going forward? To be quite frank, I'm intimidated by everyone because no one is here by accident. No, it's true. No one's here by accident. These are all incredible competitors, and it is an honor to me to get to uh, smash trivia heads with them uh, like this. Okay, well, in order to get there, you have to face a formidable opponent, a wolf if you will. Uh, I went up against her. She she gnawed at my insides and destroyed me like the Baron Revenant. Uh, how do you feel about Clark Wolf? Uh, I absolutely am going to need a miracle if I'm going to pull out a victory against her. A miracle against Clark Wolf. 100% miracle. All right, there you have it. Sam Levine, today's winner of the movie trivia showdown. Uh, I th wait, oh, oh, oh man. Uh-oh. Guys, were you guys doing an interview? No. I just I was in the audience and I thought I'd pop in and say hello. Hey Sam. Hey. Classy Clark Wolf. Yeah, I just hanging out here. Uh, so we're gonna be doing a thing soon. Yep. Yep. We're doing a thing soon. Uh, sure? This is the lamest. Uh, just yell at each other. <laughs> I have so much respect for her. I can't smack talk. And I, I, I listen to the Kevin Pollock chat show every day Aww. when I walk my dog. So I know this guy knows his stuff. Well, I hope that the battle is a little more heated than this general conversation over champagne coolies here on the movie trivia. She's not next to me. I'll smack talk for you, but come on. She's right there. Okay, all right. Gentlemen, come on. Sure. There you go. Classy Clark Wolf, Sam Levine going up against each other in their next match in the movie Trivia Schmodown. Guys, it's a heated one. All right, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans, I'm here with today's unfortunate loser. Um, I usually root against your football team, and I will be rooting against your team competition team, but in today's match, it was heated, man. It was 50-50 going down. I didn't know who to pick going in. How do you feel right now? I'm a little disappointed. You know, I had a tough uh, third category there with Westerns, the Magnificent Seven. I could have told you who's in the remake before the original, uh, but Sam was very good today. He brought his A game. I'm glad, you know, if I had to go down that it was someone, you know, to someone like him, not necessarily one of the schmoes. Where did, in the match, did you think, oh man, some of these questions, just before you got to Westerns there, what were some of the questions that just like, God, oh, this, this, and then he got something that may have been easy to you? I mean, I, I would have killed for the Meryl Streep thing, because I would have just ran that category straight twos. That would have been eight points for me. I knew it was going to be that the questions were a little bit harder than my match with my Yimbe. I mean, as soon as I get out there, which animated movie is based on Shakespeare's Hamlet? Wow, I pulled that one out of my ass. Uh, he obviously a fan of the movie Ricky and the Flash, the only one. Okay, uh, Jeff, what is next for you? I, I mean, listen, I'm looking forward to uh, to redeeming myself uh, and then teaming up with JTE as the Patriots and, and taking uh, taking maybe you guys down. Uh, listen, I'm on Team Wild Boys. Uh, nobody takes us down. We uh, we we bow out. So you're not embarrassed. There's, no, there's no boys on the Patriots. This is a team for men. There are deflated balls though. Um, Nobody's now, wilder than the Gronkowski. <laughs> Jeff, I will say, you, you put together a hell of a fight. If you want to call somebody out individually right now, who would you like to face? You know what? Mark Ellis was giving me a lot of shit during that match. Okay? I sensed a lot of attitude, and now he's on he's on the top of my shit list. I'm coming for you, Mark Ellis. Did you hear that, Mark Ellis? The Patriots are coming for a Redskin fan. Jeff, congratulations. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Back to Christian and Mark. It's the Movie Trivia Showdown. Okay, Christian, you see these guys, they have not lost their ability to be classy on one end and to talk trash on the other end. And now we need to hear from everybody out there online around the world. What did you guys think of this matchup that just went down? Listen, I'll tell you what I thought. Jeff Snyder was it showed he is a competitor. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, he took Sam to the ropes there. This was a great, great match. And now what we get to see... Sam Levine versus Clark Wolf. What a match that's going to be. You know, you got to wonder somewhere on this earth and maybe right on the other side of the camera, Mark Riley is watching with his belt on and no other clothes on, shaking 
in his naked body because these two guys can both play, particularly Sam Levine versus Clark Wolf. What a matchup that's going to be. All of these guys, both Sam and Jeff and Clark, they're all showing that they belong in this league. And you saw, I mean, Sam had a strong second round. What a back and forth third round. I mean, these guys, these are two of the top competitors in the league. And you know, Jeff Snyder's a guy that, however jilted lovery JTE decided to have him as a new teammate, he proved his worth. JTE, you have a really strong stallion you're going into battle with soon. All right, so there you go. That was the match. Again, please leave your thoughts on the said match. Who do you think is going to win between Sam Levine and Clark Wolf? Comment below, and who should Jeff Snyder play next? That is Christian Harloff. My name is Mark Ellis. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Collider Video and our movie channel, Schmoes Know. Until next week, we're going to go drink. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.